So as we know, the automotive world is going electric, whether it's by governance, whether it's by policies, whether it's by climate change, electric seems to be the future. And Skoda is not far behind. They have access to the Volkswagen Group's MEB platform. And what we are driving today could be making it to India in 2023. This, of course, is the ENIAC Coupe in the RS version, which is the full fat, most powerful version of the ENIAC Coupe available. Uh, it's 295 bhp, almost 500 kilometers range, which Skoda India officials say will be higher when it comes to India because of how hot our country is. But the version that we'll get in India will probably not be the RS and the standard ENIAC Coupe, fully electric, of course. And we're driving it today to understand how the ENIAC drives, what you can look forward to, and what you can expect when it reaches the Indian market in 2023. As far as design goes, you can obviously see the evolution of the Skoda design language in the ENIAC. You get this big grill here, lots of LEDs, very flashy, very bright. And if you like to make a statement, the green color also helps. What you also get, uh, you know, with the green color, this gloss black detailing on the RS looks really good. You get strong shoulder lines, the VRS badging here, 21 inch wheels that have obviously been given an aerodynamic touch to make sure that the battery gives you a maximum amount of range. Of course, it's the SUV coupe styling in the ENIAC. That's why you get the sloping roof line and you get a rather curt rear overhang. The tail lights would be very familiar to anybody who's uh, uh, seen Skoda cars before. They are very similar to what is on the Octavia, on the Superb, on the Kushak and on the Slavia. You also get big Skoda ENIAC badging at the back. And overall, I have to say, especially in this green shade and the other red that we've seen, uh, the ENIAC cuts a striking figure and when it reaches the Indian market next year, it's sure to catch your eye, not only with the fact that it's an EV, but because it's also quite striking to look at. Like the exterior of the car, which has a uh, Many familiar Skoda design touches, the ENIAC Coupe inside also has touches that you will be familiar with if you either drive a Skoda or are, you know, have been using one or sat in one. Uh, what I also like about the RS version that we are driving is you get this Alcantara finish on the dashboard, you get this lime green, uh, mamba green rather they call it, stitching the detailing that really pops up. Uh, on the seats too, there's great finish and it matches really nicely with the mamba green color, exterior color that we have on our test car. You also get something that uh, you don't get in the other Skoda products that we normally see in India is a much larger, I think it's a 13 inch multimedia touchscreen. You get a much smaller instrument cluster where it's fully digital, has a map readout. Uh, you can see where you're going and gives you all the information that you need. You also get a heads up display. The gear selector is a very different unit. That's not something that you see normally. And the Skoda Enyaq Coupe inside the car, despite being a sloping roof design, despite being a fast track, feels fairly comfortable and spacious. What also helps the Enyaq Coupe is this lovely panoramic sunroof, which, especially in the weather conditions that we had today in Prague, is very usable. Of course, it will transmit a lot of heat into the cabin. Uh, in India, so that's something we have to worry about. And overall, it feels spacious, it feels very well built. There's a lot of attention to detail that has gone into the design of the car inside and out. How does it drive? Because that's the most important point. It's based on the MEV platform. This is the biggest battery pack that you can get. And, you know, honestly, it feels really, really good to drive. A lot of electric cars that I've driven recently, uh, one of the issues that you face is that you feel a lot of mass because batteries are heavy and all said and done, despite the advances in battery technology, you can still feel the weight. You can feel it when the suspension works and in the kind of mixed road condition that we've seen, 
the MEV platform feels rather fluid, it feels very light in its feet. So that's an obvious advantage that the platform has over many other EV platforms. Uh, in this variant, like I said earlier, this is the 295 bhp, about 460 nm of torque uh, and about 478 kilometers of range in the European test cycles. Now, test cycles are very different in Europe, in China, in the US, especially for EV vehicles in India too. And Skoda officials do think that this would be over 500 kilometers when it's tested in India, our heat helps batteries perform slightly better in the hotter conditions that we have in our country. Of course, part of the reason why we were in Prague was not only to drive these cars, but also to look at what the future for Skoda holds. They've unveiled new logo, they've unveiled a new concept 7S, they've unveiled a full new design language of how things are going to be, how they're going to change the interiors of their cars, exteriors of their cars, what technology is going to drive them and over the next four years we'll also see three new electric products from the brand uh, how many of those make it to india we don't know yet but i'm expecting that we will get more electric products like the enya coupe into the indian market on the other hand next year we will also see at least on the global level a brand new kodiak which is the next generation of the suv and a brand new superb now, whether the Superb makes it into India or not is still to be decided. It looks unlikely the new Bharat 6B norms really make it difficult for some cars and some engines to make it into India, even if they're petrol powered. So for 2023, I think what you can look forward to from Skoda is the Enyaq Coupe. It's going to give a great lift to the brand. The brand has been doing well. The India 2.0 program has worked well. They're doing record sales numbers. In fact, they're just about to announce that they've done their best year ever in sales ever since they entered India about 20 odd years ago. So this would be a good addition to the brand. It would also showcase uh, to Indian customers that the brand wants to bring in to India their latest products, their electric range and offer more choices to Indian customers. Uh, this is a brief review of the car and I think once we get the car in India next year, we'll be able to test more in Indian conditions and give you a detailed review on how the ENIAC fares in Indian conditions, how it deals with our roads, how it deals with the heat and it could be a very interesting car to drive in India.